firstly uh, norma why uh, did goa foundation file this number one and secondly i'll do both the questions together the other is the government has been consistently opposing this and even they went they said that we will inform the court that we are opposed to it so two things why did goa foundation go it and why did the government oppose it yeah. well actually it is entirely circumstances that led to the filing of the pil hmm. in january 2020 four tigers were killed ostensibly poisoned by villagers due to cattle loss and this made headlines now we were as taken aback in goa foundation as the citizens of goa that four tigers killed overnight body after body being discovered and the villagers were held responsible for these deaths now the fact remains that there must have been something which upset the villagers so much that they poisoned the tigers if at all they did and we have lived in the in the village i have lived in satari right. for 5 years right. and we know that people are very much attuned to nature they don't hate the tigers right. they don't hate wild animals they live with them they are aware of the animals being in their surroundings right what would lead to people killing such a majestic creature as a tiger when they are not going to eat that meat so mm. they are not killing it for mm. food mm. obviously it was a loss of cattle which was a pain for them mm. economically crippling and the fact that when they told the ntc who visited them visited that area to do a, a report on it mm. they said that in previous times when cattle had been killed they never got compensation and that is one of the remarks that ntca makes in its report that the procedure for getting compensation is so long and so tedious and you got to trudge from office to office that you just bemoan the death of your cattle by the tiger hmm. and in that moment anger, yeah. in that anger you poison whatever destroys your food so i don't have any um, enmity or i do not condemn the villagers at all for what they did i blame the government for not compensating people and going to their rescue when they need help because of the death of the four tigers we said we must find out something about this issue hmm. we started rtis and to our sh- surprise and shock you can say we discovered that way back in 2011 the then environment minister jairam ramesh had written to the then chief minister digambar kamath saying that please set up a tiger reserve for goa we have done a survey in 2008 and Correct. we have found the presence of tigers in in goa correct nothing came of it then in 2014 there was an all india survey done where they found that there were five tigers in goa right that is what prompted the national tiger conservation authority to send a recommendation to the goa government right. saying that it is in the fitness of things that goa declares an area as a tiger reserve we did more research the march 31st 2016 letter yes we did a little more research hmm. and found that indeed the goa government had responded promptly right. in the sense that immediately within 2 months the chief conservator of forests wrote to the deputy conservator of forests saying we have received this letter from ntca please pre- go into the issue and prepare the uh, the tiger reserve um, boundaries what should we include letters go back and forth they come back again and again to the government to the forest department forest department actually marks the area for the tiger reserve That's right. by 2018 they prepare a note in 2016 it went to the state board did the state board say no the state no. board said they didn't say yes but they didn't say no what they said was please send us the proposal of the tiger reserve for approval before it is sent to ntca right. meaning thereby yes we are in favor That's of this correct. That's correct. in 2018 the uh, forest department prepared the final plan and the 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 note and sent it to the state board when the then chairperson of the board said that do a study on what is the impact on the fringe uh, people Areas. residing yes. there and that was the last of it it simply came to a grinding halt and never came up again this is what led us to file the petition saying that if this is the state of affairs and as a result of the government's carelessness which is 2018 they had a full program ready 
in 2020, four tigers have died. Therefore, we filed the right. petition in that same year within three months. I think by April right. 2020, we had filed the petition. Right.